Okay, so let's look at some examples of using the rules. We're going to converge each of the expressions given into exponential form without negative exponents. We're assuming all variables represent positive real numbers. So we just apply the exponent rules without worrying too much about it. So here we have the same base multiplied together, so the exponents will add. We'll get x to the 0 because 3 halves minus plus or minus 3 halves is 0. And x is a positive real number, so x to the 0 is going to be 1. Anything to the 0 is 1 except for 0 to the 0, which is not defined. So over here, I'm going to rewrite this like this, 5 sixtieths, and then y to the minus 1 third over y to the minus 2 to separate the two problems. And so you get 1 twelfth times y to the minus 1 third plus 2. Because y to the minus 1 third minus a minus 2, that's plus 2, okay, and so that's 1 twelfth y to the 2 is 6 thirds minus one-third is five-thirds. Did that. And then here we have a more complicated thing, this fraction raised to uh, some kind of negative exponent. Right, one way to handle this is to simplify the inside first. See what that looks like. So that'll be a to the one minus one-third, b to the two plus one to the minus one-half, like that. So a over a to the one-third is a to the first minus one-third, and b squared over b to the minus one is b to the two plus one. And that's going to be then um, a to the two-thirds, b cubed to the minus one-half. And now I'm going to multiply these exponents across. It's this to that power times that to that power. That's one of the exponent rules. So we'll get a to the two-thirds times minus one-half, which is minus one-third. And we'll get b to the minus three-halves, minus three, sorry, three times minus one-half, minus three-halves. And we'll write that as one over a to the one-third, b to the three-halves. So what we did there is we took the inside and we tried to simplify as much as we could until we can then use the exponent rules. And what we have, another approach is to use the exponent rule immediately and, just, and distribute this minus one half on all the factors. So that'll be this to the minus one half over that to the minus one half. And that raises each of these exponents, multiplies them by minus one half. So see what that looks like. So a to the first times minus one half is a to the minus one half. b squared to the, to the minus one half is b to two times minus one half is b to the minus one. That's what's upstairs. And then downstairs, I get minus one half times one third, a to the minus one six, and then minus one half times minus one, b to the one half, like that. Okay, and then now we've got the a's and b's where we can now simplify them. So we get a to the minus one half plus one six, then we get b to the minus one minus one half, making progress. That's a minus one half plus one sixth. Okay, minus one half is minus three six, plus one six is two six. Sorry, minus one half is minus three six, plus one six is minus two six, minus two six is minus one third, having trouble today. And here's b, minus one, minus one half more is minus three halves. We just saw that a minute ago. It's one over a to the one third, b to the three halves. So two different ways of getting at the answer. Hopefully I got the same answer. I did, I'm happy, okay. Here we're going to replace these with their fractional exponent counterparts. That's x to the two-thirds over x to the one-half. So that'd be x to the two-thirds minus one-half. So two-thirds minus one-half is four-sixths minus three-sixths, x to the one-sixth. I guess I could write it like this if I wanted to, six root of x, kind of interesting looking. 
Ordinarily, I'd be a little bit worried about using all those rules, but uh, x can't be negative. Otherwise, we can't take the square root. So everything is good. Either the variables can't be negative. Oh, it says, assume they represent all positive real numbers, even if they didn't. This one would be defined unless x was a positive number. And downstairs here, we're doing the same game. We're going to replace these with exponential uh, partners. So oh, that's x to the 2 thirds and x to the 3 fifths multiply together. And now I have to multiply, uh, multiply x to the 2 thirds times x to the 3 fifths. So I have to add the exponents. I need a common denominator. It's going to be 15. And so that's 10 fifteenths. And that's 9 fifteenths. So x to the 19 fifteenths. We got that done. Finished off the section. Um, it's not like it's such a hard section, but it has a lot of fractions in it and a lot of things that could maybe mess up if you're not careful. So take care as you do the homework on this section. Just take your time and make sure what you're doing actually makes sense to you because um, you're dealing with fractions and negative numbers and all kinds of things that hook together at the same time. And I'll see you on the next section, and um, until then, uh, good luck with fractional exponents.